Welcome back to the greatest football analysis show where we analyse football sometimes and a lot of other stuff as well. Mm-hmm. It's become less football and more just whatever comes into our brains. because football's rubbish. <laughs> no, but football's semi-rubbish. Yeah. And there's been a lot of drama. In the last week, obviously, the Super League <laughs> nearly happened. Bring back Super League! <laughs> Bring back Super League! Do you know what I clocked back in the day, yeah? Yeah, go on. Sky Sports only showed like two or three games, so you couldn't wait. It was always the best uh, game. Yeah. Now the last game on Match of the Day is on TV. The last game on Match of the Day. That used to get five minutes, six if you're lucky. They're on the main. 90 the minutes. Chef Brighton. Man chatting about it. <laughs> really going in. Oh, I really think Chris Wood. Oh, fuck off. To be Super fair. League. Chris Wood Super had a... No, 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 no. I'm all about the Chris Woods, man. Chris yeah, Wood, New it. Zealand. He's got a hat-trick this weekend. He did. Burnley absolutely played out of their socks. Come on. Where did he yeah. in the league? I don't know, like Super four. League. Super <laughs> League. Well, we had a few comments in the pre-comments before we, um, you know, we got, a, we got. A, what do you call it? I'm joking. What do you call it when you make out with a girl before you go in? Pre-comments. No, no, that's the pre-comments. But what's the? After. My, no, no, no. Before. Before what? Erection. No, not erection, bro. When you before having sex, you you do. Foreplay. My bre- foreplay. We gotta do the pre comments, the foreplay. Vorspiel, that's the German. No wonder. Do you remember when we were in Germany? Dead fam. Do you remember when we were in Germany? Why did you even bother with racism? Like, you wanted everyone to speak like that? Vorspiel. Vorspiel, heißen Sie auch Zumba. Vorspiel, heißen Sie Siebel. It's a very aggressive language. How do you say I love you in German? Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you're buffy, no? Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. I, like, I don't want nothing to eat, cuz. It's quite aggressive. But look, look let's just go into the foreplay a little bit. They uploaded early just for this drama. We are here for this. Biggest positive out of this, the snake finally comes out of the grass. Elite football has given me an uneasy feeling for a few years now. And now the lizards have peeled off their skin suits. And one last greatest football analysis show before the death of football. The lizards lost. And they can take away football, but they can't take away the greatest football analysis show. Nobody won. <laughs> I hear you. You know, I did say last you didn't show. Win, fam. I did say it wasn't going to happen. You didn't win. I did think it was a bit of a smoke screen. Um, and it was ri- ridiculous what they were trying to do. But now the Champions League is giving you Super League in five years. <laughs> no, but listen. So, <laughs> what's interesting is that is that Perez, the Real Madrid, the, the top lizard, he's the one who just doesn't care. He still says, yeah, yeah. no one can leave. Because it's still going to go ahead, like, eventually oh down God. the line, whether people like it or not. This project will move forward, is what the what Perez says. I mean, I'm with Perez. I think what they were trying to do, I think the Lizards were like, all right, it's been a lockdown. Mm. There's no fans in the stadiums. Mm. Let's just let's just put this out now and test the waters, see what the people are saying. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they clocked the people <laughs> were not. They, there was no way in hell with that amount of protest they could have ran a Super League. You oh, are you are a legend, bro. Now bring it in. Oh, bro. Look at this, bro. I love you, man. Bruv. All right, bro. What's the shop called again? King Street Food, King Street King Street Food, Food and Wine. Wine. Look, the man just come and giving us sujuk halloumi tomato sandwich. Shout out to Turkey, my brother. Here's the shop as well. Here's the shop. Check them out. Leave a positive review. The greatest boss man in the world. Um, I'll leave this in a second. But yeah, man, the Lizards lost, definitely. However, they're still running the clubs. There's still the Champions League, as I said. It seems that there's going to be backlash for the Champions League because they try to sneak in two teams that can qualify each year. Yeah. If they don't make it in the top four, right. they'll qualify on the basis of historically being good in the Champions League. <laughs> so that's basically two Super League spots. Super League. They're trying to make sure the big clubs do not miss out on, on, uh, on the big football. Uh, yeah, rubbish, man. No one won. The only people that won were money. The media, and we won because we got a bit, couple extra views and stuff. Like yeah, four thousand extra. But you mean four thousand? Yeah, four thousand extra. <laughs> At least you didn't do BBC and get one extra. We got four thousand. Look, Vuj, man, no one won. I don't think anyone won really either. But there was a bit of, I think, a small victory of the people there, where the lizards tried it, but the people saw the intentions and said, no, we're not having this, and they had to step back. And they all just did the apologies. The Glazers did one. Liverpool did one. Like, we didn't know this was going to happen. We just didn't know the market. But, Vuj, now we're doing Super League in five years in the Champions League. Ikai Gundogan's coming out complaining about it. No one cares. Yeah. I think maybe it's softened. It's softened the Champions League changes where people were so focused on Super League that the Champions League changes. There's going to get some criticism, but less criticism. It doesn't even look that bad now. It doesn't look that bad. It's a psychological just, operation. So if Super League done nothing, yeah. saw these stupid plans that Champions League are going to do, yeah. let them do it, and then we've done a big uproar for that. Who knows? 
but we've done an uproar for something that essentially is going to happen in five years just under the same name of UEFA Champions League. Twenty one one big league table Champions League is going to be. It's going to be, it's thing, going to be interesting. But there is an elitism now. But Two clubs can qualify for the Champions League without you know what? actually qualifying for the Champions League. Which is awful. However, the Lizards have shown themselves now. And now it's down to the people. Do I feel like now is a good time for momentum for potentially just fighting back in general. A little bit, at least a little bit of pushback. But let's see, let's see. You may be right. Let us know what you think. I mean, Super League, no Super League. Yeah, Champions League seems like now that's the next backlash. Will the Champions League now step down their plans? Or will they carry on and give this like alternative Super League? Uh, will Perez, I don't know. Will, they think this is a movie, bruv. The way these billionaires move, they just think this is a movie. It is a movie <laughs> They're like, them. we're going to do a Super League. Honestly, <laughs> what? fans, United in the world that love football, we have lost. We have lost so badly. I think, yeah, we lost since you can't take your top off to celebrate a goal, for me. Bro, there is football every single day. It is a lot, bro. Every single day it's a lot is a to football consume. match. It's too much, man. It's a lot to consume, it's bro. It's overkill. Um, some would say that is, a, you know, they say um, the seven horses of the apocalypse. I think I've spoken about this before. It's when a, uh, when a system is falling, yeah. uh, sport is the biggest distraction. So you, you pay the athletes a huge amounts of money, it becomes a big spectacle so people are distracted from other things happening in the world. Serious? Yeah. And they say this is happening in our, in our culture right now, in the, in the system that we live in. Klopp, you're older than everyone. Come and tell us if that's the true. The Roman Empire had that, etc. Yeah, et et Roman Empire. Exactly what yeah. it is. So the Roman Empire Go on, yeah. created the gladiator games. Mm -hmm. yeah. the it's, it's happening, to distract bro. the people from politics. 100%. For, so you can imagine how many people in England live by football season mm. com compared to year by year or election and all these kind of stuff. It is pure distraction. 100%. And it's so you're more passionate about something that doesn't directly relate to your life because mm. you have no impact on it mm. except you can try and stop some Americans making another football league. That's like that the, that's the impact you have. And some people turn, some Manchester United supporters turning up in outside the training ground. It's like, we decide when you play. And it's like, you're putting all this effort into to sorting out some football issue when the politicians in this country is actually at the moment with everything is coming out are really butt fucking you and texting their mates and say oh don't worry if you come over now don't worry you don't have to pay taxes for a while don't worry i'll sort it out prime minister texted dyson and said don't yeah, worry apparently. i got you I got you don't have to pay taxes what? Don't worry. johnson yeah 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 johnson was Bloody. in it johnson was in on it apparently and then when he saw the backlash he was like oh no 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 i'm against this yeah <laughs> Yeah. Legends. Yeah, yeah. Boris, they, apparently Egypt. they approved the Super League even. Yeah, they approved it in a private Is meeting it? before yeah. it came out. A week. Johnson, my G, <laughs> I'm with you. When your job's done, shout me. I know Lippy's on it as well. <laughs> 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 I, I just need to pay my, pay my private That's horrible. But but I love football, so I'm, I'm, I'm distracted. Yeah, no, but you I, know what? I do look at my Oh, so am I, well. my bro. So am I. Well, We're all distracted. You, a little bit, then you know what I'm saying? The system is. Yeah, the Matrix is. It's hard, bro. The Matrix is hard to break down, man. It's hard to beat. But even in Serbia, they say Kleba i Gara, which means uh, bread and games. You give the people bread, you give the people games, and they can just forget about everything else. Yeah. But give me a game right now, big man. Exactly. Yeah, so, how many billionaires do you think spend their, like, all their money and time on football? I don't think billionaires care about anything, bro. They're just chilling. But Come look, on. anyway. We move on, though, to a game uh, which happened. Uh, man City against... But you know what? Unity is showing me when people unite, how powerful people can be when they unite. So let's hope, inshallah... We can unite over other things as well. Yeah, right. Okay. But look, have a nice. Have a nice. Have a nice. Hey, what? that was. What? That's not my target audience. That's amazing. Hey. Will be so really? Oh, yeah, oh that was amazing. It. Can you try your son out? Yeah. So, hi, George. It's Mom. Hey. Can't wait to have a nice. I'm having a nice. Are you having a nice? Yeah. How is George doing? George is good. He's at Bristol. Just chilling or uni oh, or? Uni. Wow. Yeah. You met him once. He passed you with a Barcelona shirt on. Ah, uh, yeah. I hear. We saw you and he said, oh, you have to say, have a nice. And we're having a nice. George's mum having a nice. and so Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. This is Pleasure to meet you. Wow, yeah, that was beautiful. Like See, that, uh, life's my mom the article. <laughs> 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 have a slap. Have, have, have nice. a pain. <laughs> yeah, there wicked. Oh, wicked. All right. Have a good one. Have a nice. Oh, Wonderful. But it's all right. Thank you. Uh, well, this I'm is the European Super League owners. <laughs> that was a nice glitch in the matrix. That was beautiful. That was I did not expect that at all. I think she's onto you still.
No, 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 no. She's just having a nice. All right. I'm joking, Man, George. Thank you, George, for the love and support. Um, Man City, Tottenham. <laughs> Man City are once again champions of the Unknown Energy Drink Cup for the fourth year in a row. We have to keep the same energy against PSG now. Mbappe and Neymar are a scary sight, though, bro. PS, Son and Kane are far too good for Tottenham. One love from Adel Mohamed Mahmoud. You just knew they were going to lose, man. I think sucking Jose right was a waste of time. Yeah. I don't know why they did it before the final. After the you, Yeah. You, you, at, least, at least when you lose, you can say, ah, oh, it was your chance. Maybe they He's coming back now. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> that is silly. Sorry, Michael James Carpenter said, Man City won Spurs and they don't win a trophy. The sky is blue and the water is wet. Awful. Man City just dominated. They were a better team. First, Spurs' first venture into the Man City half was 18 minutes in. Man, that's bad. Honestly, that game was like window shopping. All right, Mitch, bro, unmotivated Mondays. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> you about you laughing, though. I can't lie. <laughs> I know. You know he, he messaged me. Well, All right, Mitch, are. man. I felt sorry for Mitch, the Spurs fans. They had some hope. And Son, in tears. You know, this, this is a real cry. When you drop like this to cry, <laughs> when you're like, ugh. People start thinking you got COVID, you're sniffing so much. Yeah, it's a real cry. Oh, problem. And Spurs, man, I have nothing to tell you. You had a nice kit. That's about it. At least some of the fans are back. That game was... Oh, that was like 10% of the fans. Everything Foden was... was sick, though. Foden, Foden just looks way Wow. Deep. Oh, Foden. You almost had another no-looks goal. Mm. I thought I really want him to get a goal. Laporte scored and he probably should have been sent off, to be fair. Mm. It was a, yeah, Spurs, I can't lie, man. Your manager's 29. Yo shit. This is what's his name like Mason or something? And like your and Ryan Mason. Shout yeah, Ryan out Mason. Ryan Mason because he, he went through a horrific time and mm. now he's gaffer. Yeah. But how you get the job ahead of Ledley King who's been there for nine hundred and sixty five years is somewhat How old is Ryan Mason? I just like, like how old is Ryan Mason? Ryan Mason's like thirty two or something. Thirty nine. Huh? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. So yeah. I'm twenty eight. <laughs> That's like me being the manager of Tottenham. It's a glitch. Honestly. Bruv. He has no right to take Spurs <laughs> out in a final. Contract clause. He's got a contract clause to be temporary manager, but still, he's 29, bruv. I mean, you're doing your thing. Ryan's doing his thing, though. Shout out Ryan doing your thing, feeding your family and that, but yeah, I just think to sack Jose Mourinho, to give it to Ryan Mason, eat for a cup final, it just doesn't make any sense. But they lost it. It was all all over an underwhelming experience. Yeah. The name of the cup, Carabao Cup, like yeah. it's everything about it is underwhelming. The amount of fans that were there, underwhelming. They should make it, it was all half hearted. Yeah. Everything was so half hearted. I know it's like, yeah, the new rules, we've got to take it easy, but we should have seen Soho in the bloody weekend. It was packed. So just let the fans back in, bro. Like bloody hell, do you know what I mean? I think you should name it the Caribbean fight, like the Caribbean Cup final. Oh yeah, play it in the like, Caribbean too. Make it more exciting. I agree. No, if you don't wanna Play it in the Caribbean. Give the Caribbean experience. So fly over Ninja Caribbean Man, fans. Elephant Man. Concert. And, yeah, you know what I'm that would definitely make it more fun to like, watch. Halftime show. Signal the player. Yeah, and no, take it back the for the people. Yeah. And Sean Paul. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that would make it better. But as it Shaggy. Stands, shaggy. 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 Bloody hell. Man, it's it me on the counter. It wasn't me. Yeah. This is terrible. Bruv. Four years in a row. No one cares. It's a shambles. That cup's a shambles. And then Gary says he's the best manager of all time, probably. Who? Pep? For yeah. winning four Caribbean Cups? <laughs> no, for everything he's done. But <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't have said it then. Yeah, awful. Well, anyway, no one cares about that game. Uh, Son. Howler. I'm so... I mean, moving like Timsy, bro, just barling. I mean, do you know why I feel sorry for Son, though? Because <laughs> think about it. His dad hey. told him he can't have no picnic <laughs> or no gal. He told him so he can't have a girlfriend. No, so he's that, he lives with his dad. So his dad's still raising him. <laughs> He's just, that's frustration that we'll never comprehend. Because we don't have dads in our community. His dad still lives with him. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my dad. Son. Let him grow up, man. Daddy, let him grow He's up, He's still man. a son, just a kid. Come on, we're under the sun. I love him, but yeah, it's just, it's a mess. Who would you go for the next Spurs manager? Sarri, Nagelsmann, uh, Santo or Benitez? Does it matter? I go Nagelsmann, man. At least it's a, it feels young. It feels Ryan Mason-ish. Do you know what I mean? There's a bit of excitement there potentially for them. 
He's done well in the German league. I'll go oh, Nagelsmann. Oh, forget the manager. <laughs> Look at that group of players. Toby Alderweire has passed it. You know what's exciting though, Paul? They are building an adventure, uh, adventure centre outside the stadium. They're going to do rock climbing and stuff. So I'm excited about that for the area. I can go rock climbing. That's not a table. That's what you need to climb up, big man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's exciting for them. They can go rock climbing after the games. Good for them. Good for them. Lucas Moore looks like he'll enjoy it. I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, the planning permission has been approved uh, by hiring a council and it should be getting built soon. So They're came getting up. an adventure centre. Thinking came up. That's how rubbish this thing was that I'm talking about, the new planning permission. Think about it. This is all. We're meant to be speaking about Man City versus no, the, rubbish. the people behind the camera board. I'm a little bit bored. The only thing keeping me alive right now is the sun right. and the swigs. But let's go to something a bit more exciting, though. Uh, Could you wish. Leno. <laughs> <laughs> Leno's mistake against Everton. Horrendous. I mean, is that exciting? It's not, but the have other stuff coming before? up is exciting. I mean, I have not. That was a very bad. That's one of the worst goalkeepers. No, no, before. that's the worst goalkeeping I've seen in a while. The ball's going out of the goal and he pushes it in. It's horrible. But you lot lost one. It puts Everton into the top four conversation. But Kronke debate. Kronke looks like he drinks baby's blood from. Look at my that... man here, bro. He has no white part of his eyes. He's just got a pupil. Is he the bro, man? look at him. Bro, look. <laughs> he hasn't he got... Yes, my brother. I'm supporting Mario. I like Mario. Check out Mario's landscape oh, gardening. Man. Give them a ring on the phone number if you need your garden done. Please, Aye, Free promo for the community here. Look, we're here for the Aye, community. Bruv. But Kronke, look at the glasses here. Looking like a Bond villain. No, I'm, I'm supporting Stan, man. You're su wait, wait, wait. You're supporting Stan Kronke? Yeah, man. Why and how? Because he wants European Super League. <laughs> so Stan Kronke, uh, out. Uh, big, Arsenal big... Arsenal fans, man. Aren't you bored? Is this, uh, is he the man of the people, then? Who? Kronke. The you what? Kronke? Yeah, with the, with the giant pupils. Kronke, man. Just, I don't Kronke know what you're talking to, about. To be honest with you, Kronke, you just do need to fuck off. You bad. This is why Kronke is a, is a prick to me. I had to do some work for Pro Direct. Shout out Chunks and Philly two years ago. I just left Copper 90. We're back on the grizzly grind like a man that grizzly grinds. Yeah. So I flew all the way to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a story. I went to Washington, me and Chunks, and I'm thinking, where are going to do a little content with the Arsenal players? where there was an email where Josh Kroenke had told the club to not let me speak to any of the players. Like, fucking hell, you lot. Like, white people had us in slavery for years. Now, I can't even talk to the black community amongst them. I can't talk to Reese Nelson and Saka and all that. I'm fed up of Kroenke, man. You lot are just boring Americans, man. You're trash. Go and watch American Dad or something. <laughs> Bored of crunks, man. They're just boring people. There's no point. They're wasting time. Um, Josh said, I know you lot miss a cold night in Stoke. My brother, they're relegated. They're not even here. Like, go away, you lot. I mean, as I said, like, you know, Seven oh. Horses of the Apocalypse it is the, the, the falling of our system, current system that we have. They're men of the Roman Empire. Uh, I mean, arguably. And look, everybody's just... just we're just... <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Anyway, look. But then uh, we saw uh, Robbie having an argument with Ray Parler. AFTV, that's another bit of drama that happened. You can't even keep up with everything that's going on. He's another howler, man. Ray Parler? Yeah, 100%. Man. He's a howler. His name rhymes with a howler, Paula. Like, Ray, let's Paola, have it right. Paola, Paola, you can Paola. say what you want about me. When we done filming with you, you turned up drunk, bruv. Like, let's have it right. How are you sticking it on Robbie about... <laughs> no, that was had dumb. nothing to do with it. Yeah, that was ridiculous. You're he, turning up to shoot. He really tried to say that Robbie... I mean, look, Robbie may, like... Factually, he may get more money off the ads when Arsenal lose. But does Robbie want Arsenal to lose? I really do highly doubt it. Like, yeah, he's, he's made a channel. Bruv, and he now, you know what's mad? All these people were chatting shit about Robbie and AFTV. Now Sky Sports are interviewing him for his opinion and putting it on YouTube so they get more hits. So he's saving your asses right now. And you know what the killer is? When Ray Parler does that, El Nenny comes out. Oh, fans, stick behind me. Oh, you <laughs> are, shut up, man. You privy privileged clowns. Stop hurting me online. <laughs> Four day blackout. You lot are trash, all of you. Cronky, get lost. We're bored of you. Arsenal players, shut up. Stop moaning. You're 10th. If you're 9th and 10th in the league, no one says nothing nice about you. Ray Parler, leave Robbie alone. Yeah, shout out Robbie. 
Big up Robbie. And then also to just to make it a bit more interesting, uh, Spotify are buying Arsenal, it seems. Um, <laughs> a man like Daniel Ek is going to buy it with Henri, Burkamp, and Vieira. <laughs> I am done with this show, bro. It needs a Netflix. I, have, I don't it know. It needs what. a Netflix. Well, like, where's the next plot twist? If you can't watch the game for free, then. <laughs> if you got premium. <laughs> if you got Spotify premium. You go to games for free. Do you reckon you can listen to it online as well? Like live <laughs> listen to like, yeah, like bring back podcast. radio. Now, football's become ridiculous. Like, we're hitting it. Bruv, look at him as well. He looks like a lizard too. Look at him. He's like summoning the other lizards. <laughs> hey, bro. He's like, come to me. He's hey, from Sweden, bro. man. You know what they're like in Sweden. He looks like, a, he looks like, he looks like a cult leader, bro. Have you seen... Um, Definitely. He Have makes... Summerland or something like that. This guy will make you orgasm Summer. just by looking at you. Bro. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Midsummer. Midsummer. Yeah. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen it, bro. Brother, I'm done with Sweden. Midsummer, wow, movie. Sweet, sweet. They're over there doing <laughs> weird <laughs> stuff, man. It's a calamity. Football's becoming a madness. Norway, but we still celebrate independence from Sweden, you know. You yeah, know, we're celebrating independence yeah, from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what does it all mean? But poet. <laughs> wait, wait, seventeen of May, happy Norway oh, Day. But happy no- so, uh, your, the, the, yeah. sorry, the legends taking over Arsenal. Do you care? Do you want it to happen? Do you think it will happen? I don't care, man. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal, your your club deserve. Your club is the Kardashians. <laughs> Not interested. Oh. Keeping up with Arsenal. <laughs> Is keeping up with Arsenal <laughs> of your new show. Do you not just do a Netflix special when it all spins around? But as it stands, man, I can't, what I can't believe is that Arsenal players and former players are trying to put blame you on know what? Robbie. I really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of everyone. You mean out of the board and out of the players that the clubs acquired and all the stupid mistakes they made of Gazidis coming in and all these other dons, they've agreed to do Super League. You lot are concerned with Arsenal fan TV. Hey, Ray Parler, man, it's a mess, mess. Ray Parler, honestly, bro. I respect people who, howler, you know, like I watch people that talk about football all the time passionately. I'm like, bro, how do you, this is exhausting. Mm. How do you do this? Do you reckon those guys sports should have 15 minutes where they just talk about anything like this? Pick it out of a hat. Yeah, make it more interesting, man. But look, I mean, there you go. Let us know what you think. Obviously, this Super League stuff and this whole climate has totally demotivated me, if I'm going to be completely honest with nah, you. Nah, let's bring Super League, man. Let's do it. Horrible. But I'm anyway, and you know what? Them, just to make things more interesting, go. to make yeah. things more interesting. Man U leads 0-0. Liverpool, Newcastle 1-1. Mm-hmm. Not much going on there, Paul. Willock scored, though. Last Willock. Week. Come on, Willock, my brother. And then we had West Ham, Chelsea. Chelsea won, obviously, good for them for the top four race. And a red card. Oh, oh my, what a terrible... Oh, football is in the shitter, mate. Oh, we football are in a lot... Football is, diarrhea football is right depressed now. right now. We are in peak depression, bro. Football's hung- he's, hungover. He's, he's hangover. Bro, he's cleared the ball. Oh, what's his name? Got his name. Ben- Val- 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 Valbuena. Valbuena's brother. He's cleared the ball... You can't stop your foot once you've kicked the ball. He's cleared it. He's like gone like that when after kicking the ball and a player's ran into his foot. It's not intentional. There was, there was no... How do you not see that as a referee and go, he's followed through a kick? So when you're kicking, you're clearing as well. So he's clearing, remember. He's not just kicking like that. He's trying to whack. So he's, is, is he meant to clear it and just stop? Dude, referees are nervous. You're clearing though. and there's your foot. What am I meant to do? Referees I'm are meant to go. real Ooh. just idiots, fam. Referees wear skirts in their relationship. They're not even the man of their house, and now they want to take charge of a foot. Oh. Those referees are either te- supply teachers or like... Now, when I saw that, it's just... This week's been terrible. Don't even watch the rest of the show. Terrible. The reason why I say this about referees, because I know... At the, up to the age of 16, know, no just, one goes, do you know what, mate? I, I can't know, wait to become a referee. They're killing the game, man. Have you, did, did anyone in your school say they want to be a referee? No, bro. I don't know any. I, it's like a last resort thing. Like, do you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll be a referee. I'll only pay for 60k a year. It's like, but it's not something you grow up wanting to do. It's like, yeah, so bad yeah. the losers, apart from Kalina. Sorry, Kalina, yeah. Mariah yeah. Rennie was good. Ooh. Couple uh, man though. Mike Dean, I got a little bit of love for him because he's at least he. Won. The guy that did the champ, the, the World Cup final. I met him. He was cool as hell, Who? man. Children in Atlanta. Who's that? The guy with the bold head. Champ, uh, World Cup final. Oh, I know what you're talking about. English Don. We met at BT. Was one yeah, Chabi well. Alonso when he it was. Well uh, Howard, Howard Webb. Webb. When they're young. I like Webb. You know what? He's on the net. Yeah, I like. I like Webb. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I I'm mean, look, fighter, we're clearly a little bit frustrated with the state of football right now. Um, and then the Newcastle play punch someone in the face and then... Newcastle pep punch someone in the face apparently. The yeah, Arsenal offside. The offside. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kappa! Drizzy Drake back to back. This was terrible, man. It was terrible. And maybe this is a distraction, so something else is happening. That's because cool, bro. When's the last time I spoke about a beautiful trick from Neymar or something wonderful from they Bruno are Fernandes? They really... Who couldn't do anything this weekend. Calvin killing Phillips this game. This. <laughs> Bruno could have gone nowhere. The Arsenal offside, horrible as well. It's just been a messy, messy week. But one of the bright spots was Chris Brentford. Wood. Oh, sorry, go on. sorry, I was going to... Brentford would be nice. If we were not actually, <laughs> yes. I was going to say championship, but it's Norwich, Watford back in the Prem. Yeah. And if Bournemouth come back up, that's a glitch. And that's what uh, AIDS14 says, because... That, that's what they went down last year. They're all going to come back up again. Just well, in a lift. They went down the lift. Back up the lift. Our little French brother at Brentford had something else to say about. I, I mean, I want Brentford to go up. We, we all do. De Silva, my brother Josh De Silva, he's been chatting to him, slid in the DMs quickly. <laughs> my bro, not making the playoffs. I'm broken hearted. Uh, the spirit of him will be in Jensen. But yeah, you've got people like Chris Wood, obviously, Burnley scoring a hat trick. That was nice. On, uh, on Specs' birthday? On Spe wow, and Specs loves Chris Wood. Loves him. Beautiful. Uh, the name, boys. Love, Have a nice. IG. Love family. The poet. The, po the pole hand show is back. You should call it a pole hand show. The pole hand show. Yeah. I was like, the AP show, you should watch us. AP. Yeah, yeah, the AP. Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> But check out the Poet Now Hand Show and Grime Daily, back where they, where they belong in a community which appreciates them and that's organic and authentic. Thank you. Because boilers break way too much and if you want to be in a room with a boiler, it's not, take a, bags off you. it's not a good vibe. Also, um, um, one post show today with Anton Ferdinand. Are we speaking about ooh. chocolate Terry's Orange? Check out that on uh, Filthy Fellas. That's that's going to be a fascinating conversation. Uh, we got some comments. I know there was some more comments for everybody that's left to the end of the show, and you haven't bloody switched off because mm. bloody hell, it's been a bit depressing. Um, the sun's out. But, but the sun is out exactly. Football has maybe been depressing, but the sun's out. I know we beat the wow. Super League, but as you said, like, have Did we really? We? So we have to keep battling because these these little right, bro, they're relentless, bro. Lizards are relentless. But look, Mihailo Mitic, poet is like that teacher near retirement, always talks about how everything was better 20 years ago. But okay. but was it better? I, you know when you hear like old people, like older people? Yeah. You know what's mad? Time moves so quickly these days. I feel like lockdown's made things move even quicker. Yeah. Because like back in the day, you'd start complaining about the now and how the past was better when you're like 50. Yeah. Now I'm 28. I'm in my bloody uh, late 20s and I'm talking about the, back in my day. What's back in my day? 26. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's how mad away. like life's moved. But it's only because I care about people. So if I know that's what, mad, bro. Watch football, and you got Super League, VAR, five different bloody channels that show the same game. Like there's so much distractions from you just watching football. I'm like, well, it was better back in the day. You had three games I was going to be on in the week, couple games Champions League midweek. You appreciated football more. You worked hard to go and see the other yeah. games. You would stay up until 10:30. Now. Sky Sports have every single game on TV. You, know you think I care about Burnley you know, you know versus Brighton? <laughs> you know they've given us a name, Legacy Fans. That's apparently what we are, is Legacy Fans. And this is not... I, I can't... Listen, Burnley versus Brighton. Do you want me to be get upset about that when they get 44k views on television? We get more views than Burnley Brighton on... on 44k <laughs> views on TV. You reckon I'm the only... There's 60 million people, 67 in this country, 44k. We get more views than them. That's hilarious. 44k, and then you watch a Man United versus Man City, 1.2 million or something mad. Like, I'm not trying to be like elite, but, but bro, give the people what they want. It's, it's too much football. Man. But then anyway, we move on to this comment though. I like oh, this boy. one. Bali Energy, Paul Ruj in the comments under gang. We need to support all football now. Every yeah. weekend, meet ups at lower league teams, get tickets to the match, watch the match, celebrate the beautiful game, and just put money into the grassroots football. Let's do this. I'm actually down for that. So let's see when it all opens up again, a bit more and more and more. Maybe next season, just start going there, yeah, Aldershot Town and all that shit. Hashtag. But you know, why don't we just That'd be kind of fun. teams that have good ethics? I don't want to make it rooted down to like Ta -da. to grassroots. Any team that has good ethics, support them. So if it's Brentford or if it's your local team, support them teams, man, because they care about football. Arsenal agreed to do Super League. Liverpool agreed to do Super League. Manchester United, Spurs, Man City, they, they all agreed to do Super League. Or should I say the owners and, agreed? 
I'm sorry, if you own this yard and you agree I can't go in, I can go in. So if you own Liverpool and you say they're going Super League, what, you reckon one apology is going to make... Bro, yeah. they don't care about your club. I can't wait for fans to get back they into the ground. They don't care about your club. Fans, when you come back into the ground, tell them, tell them, tell them what you think. Yeah, but the thing is, I start boycotting. own your club. Yeah, no, I don't know. Stop boycotting, stop going. And then when that happens, they'll go because then the money's going down, they're out. We have to get rid of these Americans, fam. That's what happens. Their Americans need to go. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. There are better Americans out here. There's good Americans, bro. A lot of Americans watch us. They're brilliant people. They're amazing. But you see them owners? I reckon the Americans will agree that Vince McMahon was right. He told man about Kronke. He's a fraud businessman. And Vince McMahon has been out here in WWE supporting The Rock, Stone Cold. All the boys. Come on, DX. I love the mix of insight and cluelessness, absolute conviction and aimlessness, Marcus Dollard. And I think that totally encapsulates this show. You just don't know where it's going to go. Don't know where it's going to go. Uh, ben is like a career. PSG is the hottest girl at school with the best footballers at the show. Fake kits are going to be more trendy than real ones. I kind of st am starting to agree. Because I might as well just get it from dhgate.com. Get the fake one, £20. Looks real. Might come off in a wash. But, you know, it's a bit of protest. Anyway, so um, Pove region the comments and then go, oh, I'll put that comment in already, I'm sorry. I've definitely felt the death of football for a while. I went for Arsenal for the first 16 years of my life, but I got so sick of the lack of heart, I was seeing every game, so I changed it to my local club, Hull, and I've never looked back, even if we're in League One. This show is one of the few things I can keep enjoying in the part these days. Anything big club related just seems so soulless. Keep up the good work, guys. Big up, Kyle Cansfield. Shout out you, brother. This is so real. For a moment, I escaped the Matrix, says Flip. Philip Clevmark and Yassine Walls says, and we just write about it not happening. The man has vision. Come on. Um, two weeks. This is interesting. Though. Did we predict this is all going to happen? Because listen to this. Zayn Zain Daguna says, two weeks before the Super League announcement. Poet and Rouge talking about how the beautiful game is almost gone now and how it's almost getting lost. Discussing how they missed the pure, joyous, romantic football back in the day. Vuj, there is an over-situation of football now. It's so unavoidable and so prevalent that we're always so consumed by it. Poet, because of how popular football is globally, the people in power can move it uh, wherever they want. One week later, the European Super League for, uh, is officially announced. Glitch, mad, isn't it? That's a good thing, isn't it? Well, Glitch, I'm, I'm filming, you know. I'm outside. Uh, hey, Mira. Have a nice. Wagwam. Yo, oh, allow me, man. <laughs> allow me, bro. How are we getting here, cuz? It's been like two months. Allow me. Free. <sighs> yeah, I phone you back. Love you. Bye. <laughs> what a hero, man. Shout out Mira May. Shout out Mira May. Uh, I made a new project coming soon as well. Shout out Mira May. Uh, even though she just called me a pussy, oh. but it's okay. Um, yeah, guys, uh, you know, I hope you made it to the end of the show. I hope you're having a nice, a few nice moments in this. You know, the lady walking past me, you know, Mira May getting onto me. Um, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a great day. Sunshine's out. You know, go and enjoy life. Have a nice and all that stuff. You? I agree with you. You know, like, it's cool, man. Do you know what? There'll be better days. It's just that, you know, currently. What's making it's, me feel bad? Yeah, currently, it's just in a weird space, you know. What can we, what can, Rouge, you are the oracle. Please tell me. What? What do you see in the future for the days? Is the Euros going to be a successful competition? National football is, is, is I think, more fun. National. I think, yeah. Because it only comes every four years, so it's more, it's like eating a very nice cake. So am I going to enjoy watching 2020 in 2021? I don't know, but you know what? The World Cup, though, the next uh, World Cup after Qatar, is the groups are going to be three teams per group, two teams go through. Forget it. Forget it. 36 team World Cup as well. Or 48 or something. It's going to be three team groups. With, you only play two games in the group stages. I don't know, bro. I don't know what these people are thinking. They just slipped that in ages ago. <laughs> and they're still saying they just happened. Killing the most iconic format in the world, the World Cup. So more teams can play. And they're more yeah, revenue. But you're going to kill the players. They play too much football now. I don't know, bruv. It's mad, bro. That's happened. So things have been happening, changing, and people... We can't fight everything, bro. So I'm happy the people won the Super League battle for now. One victory for the man, you know? I think you're way for one, but yeah. Ah, shit. All right, have a nice, guys.